and finally we're going to look at the augmented triads and this admittedly you don't really need uh, for now because if you're just playing with major minor scales modes and so on so basically the stuff we're going to cover in this uh, series you won't need it because the augmented triad doesn't happen in uh, major minor scales what, but what happens is when you play uh, more jazz music, sometimes you play the harmonic minor scale which comes from classical music but it's been used a lot in, in jazz, uh, then this chord comes up. Okay, so we're going to look at it and we're going to study just a little bit and you can hear the sound, it's really cool. And if you like music by even the Beatles, Queen, you know, a bit more complex kinds of rock music, it pops up all over the place. So it's a good thing to know it. And uh, the Amenti Triad works like this. It's uh, two steps to the third, so it's a major third, r from root to the major third, and then it's another major triad, uh, I'm mean, sorry, it's another major uh, third, and it goes two steps from the third to the augmented fifth. The augmented fifth is the same as the perfect fifth, but one half step higher. Okay, so in the case of C, I'm playing C, the major third of C is E, so two whole steps, and then again, two whole steps will bring me to G sharp. Okay, so G sharp is the same as A flat, which is the minor six, but we have to call it G sharp because we say it's a fifth, and so we need to give it that name. So this is the sound. I know I told you sounds uh, weird, and it does, but I'm, I'm going to give you a little example. Listen to the C augmented, how it resolves to F. You see, so it's a bit ugly when you play by itself, but then it has this resolving quality to it when it's followed by certain chords. So it's actually a very beautiful chord to use in composition. And uh, how do we build it? Well, it's very easy. We take the major triads that you learned before, and every time you, you find the G, you change it for a G sharp. So we get one, one, zero on the top three strings, like that. And then we play C, E, G sharp on the first string. That's another position. And then we'll go to this one, which was uh, E on the ninth fret, G sharp on the ninth fret, and then C on the eighth fret of the first string. Okay, so these are the, the augmented triads. So to recap all this, if we think of um, thirds between root and third, and then another third from third to fifth, we have the following. For a major triad, we have a major third plus a minor third, okay? So it's a major triad bet between, a major third between C and E, and then there's a minor third between E and G. For minor triads, we have a minor third plus a major third, so it's the other way around. For diminished, we have a minor third twice, minor third from C to E flat, and another minor third from E flat to G flat. And for augmented, we have a major third, plus a major third. So it's actually pretty easy to remember because diminished sounds like it's less, and it is, and augmented sounds like it's more, and it is more. So uh, here's the close-up for all these uh, augmented triads, and then we'll, we'll get into the really cool part about this video. Mm -hmm.